Hey everybody, I know it's been so long. I missed you all, but I'm back. And as you can see, I'm burnt because I was at the pond all day. Yeah, I guess it's a pond. It's a man-made pond. So it's not like yucky, but to me it is, but yeah. Anyways, I got my favorite. I'm hoping they did it right because last time it wasn't done right. I was not happy about it. So let's open it up like it's a Christmas present because it is. this side and I'm going to put this here I'll take it off the plate so y'all can see it see that mm. put this stuff right there mm -mm -mm. I love Italian subs I'm supposed to be cooking right now, but um, everybody want so. Like, do you still cook if no one's home? Like, I don't know. I'm like, but I need a rest. The best part of the sub, you take some bread and you soak up all that oil that spills out. I'm gonna leave that there. This is gonna be more. And it's so good, it's so good. Mm. Today was a great day. I hope you all had great days. Like, what did you do? I told you what I did. Oh my God, oh my God. All right. We're at the pond and there's geese, like baby geese and the mommy geese. And they're like really friendly. And it's like weird because it's like, they're not afraid of the people. Now, it happened a couple of times. Like kids were chasing them with sticks and stuff. And it's like, why is that okay? Like, why are you allowing your child to do that? I was in the water the first time it happened. It's like, okay. Now, the second time, we were leaving. And so a girl's chasing the kid, the little geese with the stick. And somebody else was like, stop. Because her parents weren't paying attention. Now, I fed the geese. And the dad's like, oh, we're not supposed to feed the wildlife. It's like, your kid's not supposed to be chasing the wildlife with a stick and throwing rocks at it, right? But... You mad at me because I fed the damn bird. Okay. But. Whatever. Worry about yourself. Mm. Y'all get your food? Like, are you eating too? You can have a piece. Take a bite. Wasn't it good? It's actually good today. I'm happy. I told my son, I was like, if it ain't good today, I'm not getting it again. And it was good today.
I have to figure out what I'm doing tomorrow. Like, I don't want to go back to the same place I was today. But, um, I don't want to stay in the house. Um, we have to leave later tomorrow in the afternoon to go out. I have stuff to do in the morning. And if we drive all the way to the beach, it's like two states away. Then, by the time we get there, there won't be no parking. So I left it up to my son. Um, my sub has oil, not vinegar. I've heard of that, but it's not like common around here, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually tasted oil and vinegar on a sub. I hear people say it in the groups and stuff, though. That stuff's just like falling out. So what's everybody cooking for dinner? I'm cooking ribs. And I'm going to try to make the um, the chipotle rice that has the lime in it and cilantro. I never did it before, but I've seen the recipe and it looks really easy. So I'm going to try that. Oh my God, you wanna see what I got my kids? Aren't these cute? They're little numbers. And I got beads. So they can make bracelets with my phone number on it. So in case they get lost or for whatever happens, somebody can call me. Cause you never know. I'm going out a lot, so just in case, figure it's better safe than sorry. Do you do things like that for your kids? I seen um, like you write it, but I think it was mascara, your phone number, and then you put skin protector or something over it. But I couldn't find the skin protector, and it's not supposed to wash off. Jamie, your, your dinner sounds like it's going to be very good. Do you cook every night? The sub is from Alfredo's. highly recommend it it's called a north ender it's basically an italian but they gave it a different name mm. your phones work my phones still don't work liquid band-aid yeah Has anyone found out, like, when the phones are supposed to work? Because it's kind of annoying. I mean, nobody calls me, but, you know, still, like, I paid for the month. I should have my phone for the month. I think I'm going to save this half for my son if, or if tomorrow. Canada, Milwaukee, 
Y'all pretty far. No, I have T-Mobile. I want those little fruit flies. It's bothering me. Yeah, they don't sell... Like, I don't know. I couldn't find liquid mandate anywhere. Like... Can you hear the firecrackers? I've been up since 4 o'clock in the morning. Because these people... I was going to call them a swear word. A mother or something. But they started... Set, they set them off now. And they set them off again at like 9, 10, which is fine because you're awake. But then they do it again at 4, from like 4 to 6. So it's like you can't even fall back to sleep. And it's just like, oh, so annoying. I mean, it's daytime. Why are you setting off firecrackers? You can't even see them. But I'd rather them do it now than at 4. Hopefully they run out. Oof. Do I look burnt, burnt? I got it on my nose. And right here. And right here. That's your, like, T-zone, right? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. It was worth it. It was a great day. On Thursday, we're going to, um, I don't even know what it's called. It's a lake. And there's this bridge. And the kids jump off the bridge into the water. And they have such a good time. The little ones, they won't jump in. So we sit where like you would bring your um, canoes in. Because it's like little water and then it gets deeper. So it's like perfect for the little ones. Even though you're not supposed to like sit there. But it's like no one there. It's like us. So it's not bothering anyone. I need ideas like what's everybody doing to stay cool because like it just started getting hot it's like hot and we're still on lockdown but nobody's actually doing it anymore We're doing social distancing now. We're just starting to open things up. And I guess all the cases like jumped already. I love the water too. I don't know if our pools are gonna open. So I'm trying to figure out like all kinds of different places to take my kids because if the pools don't open because we usually go to the pool every day in the summer which gets boring too anyways but we've been doing that like my whole life so same pool same people so it's kind of comforting you know like I don't talk to any of them or associate with any of them but so I, oh my God, where do you think I'm from? Can you tell by my voice? Can you tell? Where do you think I'm from? I have four too. My oldest just graduated from high school. She graduated oh, last Thursday. They didn't even let them graduate. No, not Jersey, no. No, 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 no. I'm going to give you a hint. Now, my child's school, Harvard, offered to let them use their big stadium that they play sports in. This huge stadium so they can do their graduation there. So that way all the parents and guests and the kids can be socially distanced because they can spread us out everywhere. 
The school said no. And mailed the kids the diplomas in the in the mail. I was like, wow. But it's sad. I like when I watch the videos and I see like all the drive-by ones at like the fields. I think that's like the cutest thing. They drive by, get out the car, get the diploma, get back in. I think that's adorable. Like when they decorate the cars. I would have been on that one. I would have had all kinds of balloons and everything. But no. It's okay though. That just means we got to go even harder for college. The college graduation got to be... Yep, that's where I'm from. That's where I'm from. So, the college graduation has to be even more special. But they said they might do something in July, the end of July. But it's like, you should have did something now. Everybody else did. Like, all the surrounding communities, they all did their graduation. And it's messed up. Oh, my God. Let me tell you. The, what's it called? The kindergarten classes? You know, they do like the cute little graduations. They all did them. They all did them. They did them outside. And it was like open on the street. Like it was so cute. I seen everybody's videos. I'm like, oh my God. And then the, is it fifth grade? Fifth grade or sixth grade? And then go to middle school. They all did their graduations. They did them out in the street. And like spaced everybody out, and you know, gave them the diploma. And I'm like, that is so cute. But you didn't let the high school kids do it? Like, come on. They did a virtual graduation and they showed all like the yearbook pictures at the end. It was so cute. The valedictorian killed me. She was talking about how there's so many kids that didn't get to make it to graduation because of like, they had to work or they were homeless or all these things. And I was like, oh, don't make me cry, girl. Don't make me cry. Because I'm about to cry thinking about what she was saying. But it's so true. Like, my daughter's friend, he's homeless. But he did it. He graduated. He had to stop playing sports so that he could work after school. But he did it. He did it. He graduated. I just got myself all emotional. I'm so proud of him. He did it. I feel bad. His mom died. He was living with his aunt. And then the aunt, once he turned 18, was like, get out. So now he's in a shelter. It's like, poor kid. But I guess he wants to be there now because he'll get Section 8. And it's just like, but he did it. Poor kid did it. He graduated. And I'm very proud of him. And now I'm going to sign off because now I made myself cry. So I hope everybody else has a good night. If you have children graduating, congratulations. Hug them tight. Let them know you love them. And I'll see you later.